Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Liz. And um, I was just out in my garden and I was harvesting my motherwort. I only have one plant. I'm hoping she'll grow and spread so there'll be more next year. But I figured, you know what? This is enough to at least make a little bit of tincture. So um, people, even though this is a tarot channel, um, whenever I talk about herbs, I get a lot of comments and people message me and say, can you talk more or make more videos about herbs? So today I thought I'd just make a really quick video on how to make a tincture. It's really simple. Uh, tinctures are much easier or maybe more forgiving than oils and um, other things <laughs> that we do to make um, herb, herbal um, uh, preparations. Um, so here's the motherwort. Um, motherwort is a member of the mint family, and you can tell by that square stem. Lemon balm uh, is also a member of the mint family. So what I'm going to do, I, I just picked the flowering tops, and I'll try to put the camera down a little bit so you all can see what I'm doing here. How's that? Oh, no. Okay. So we want to chop up the plant material and we want to chop it up um, so that we expose more of the plant's uh, cell walls. I would normally use a knife uh, for this, but I don't know why I'm using scissors today, sort of showing you how not to. Um, so you want to chop up all of the flowering tops. Um, I'm not going to um, actually go through this whole process because it'll take me a few minutes, but you really want to um, chop things up small and don't chop your finger like I just did. And then you'll put the plant material in a clean glass jar. Hello and you'll cover it with 100 proof vodka. Make sure it's 100 proof. Um, that's really the mixture that you want um, um, because then it's like 50% water and 50% alcohol. So you'll cover up the plant material um, with vodka. Um, you know, push down on it. You can either use a motherwort stem or a knife or a chopstick. So push down. You want to make sure that the um, plant material is uh, completely covered with the um, with the vodka. Um, you can also use vinegar to extract the medicinal properties of motherwort if you don't want to um, use alcohol. Um, some folks don't like to use alcohol for a multitude of reasons. I'm just looking down because I'm chopping away here. Um, and when you get everything all chopped up, as I said, uh, you'll put it in the jar, pour the, the um, I'm going to use vodka, over top of it. Make sure that the plant material is completely covered. Tomorrow I'll take a look at it and... Um, Sometimes some of the vodka gets soaked up, so you want, want to top it off. Um, I will label it, really important. So I will label motherwort fresh flowering tops, the date, so it's um, July 9th, 2022. Um, and I will um, uh, put the, um, put uh, that I'm using 100 proof. So I'll put motherwort, in 100 motherwort flowering tops in 100 proof vodka um, and i'm going to try to kind of do one to one ratio um, and of course it is always of the ultimate importance to label um, everything you do uh, with herbal um, products or herbal medicine and then i'm gonna i have shelving down in my basement i'm going to put it down in my basement it's dark and it's cool I will go down and shake it periodically and check on it. Um, and then um, in six to eight weeks, 
I will strain it off and I will have lovely motherwort tincture. So what can we use motherwort for? Well, um, as I said, the Latin name is Leonaris cardiaca, which is Lionheart. Um, and uh, even though the name is Lionheart, motherwort is actually a very um, gentle um, or cardiac herb. So that's one thing uh, that one way it can be used in support of uh, the cardio cardiac um, system, cardiovascular system. And um, it's also really good for anxiety, anxiousness. Um, uh, it's great to take like a dropper full of it. Um, uh, maybe in like a lemon balm tea or something like that before you go to bed at night. It does help calm you and allows for good sleep. And mother wart. So wart is an old English word for herb. Um, if you saw my video from yesterday, I was talking about St. John's wart. Um, I also grow mug wart. <laughs> so wart is an old English word for herb. So mother wart is literally mother's herb. And um, mother wart is a magnificent women's herb. Wonderful for um, pubescent um, young women. Um, it's great for PMS. Um, it helps with heavy uh, menstrual cycles. Um, it is great for, um, I, did I say PMS? Um, it's great for menopausal women. So it's really a wonderful um, herb to use through the whole uh, menstrual uh, cycle from menarche to um, perimenopause to menopause uh, and beyond. So check out Mother Ward. Um, I thought I would um, just let you show you this book. It's the... Um, Opening Our Wild Healing Hearts to the Healing Herbs. It's by Gail Edwards, and um, it's a wonderful book. It has several um, pages on each of the herbs that Gail discusses, and it's just a real down-to-earth um, herbal. talks mainly about really common herbs that most people have in their yards, um, growing in the woods and, um, you know, really um, a lot of good information, but fairly basic um, information. So anyway, that's motherwort and that's tincturing. Um, may the plant spirits be with you.